what do you think is the function of the transmission? In a boat, in your car, what is the function of the transmission? Yes, one function is protect the engine. The transmission is like a fuse to protect the engine. Okay, let me check those, those functions. We are going to copy the functions in this table. Uh, the first set, uh, function is protect the engine. But how the transmission protect the engine? How? I don't understand how the transmission protect the engine. What is the protection? Yes, because the transmission, in between the transmission and the engine, you have this element, the clutch. Now we are going to study in this class the different type of clutch. And what is the function of the clutch? The clutch isolates the engine from the transmission. Yes, what happens in your car if you have a, a manual transmission? What happens when you apply the pedal of the clutch? The engine is free and the transmission is free. For that reason, my friends, in this particular class, I am going to explain in details the manual transmission, automotive transmission, and I am going to explain in details the automatic transmission, and after that, I am going to explain the marine transmission, because the marine transmission is, uh, is uh, the complement of uh, the manual with the automatic, automotive transmission adapted for marine applications. The million dollar question is, can I replace this engine? Can I replace this engine for an electric motor AC or DC in order to convert my boat into an electric boat? And uh, the answer is yes, you can. Can I reuse the, the transmission in order to replace only the engine and I save transmission and propulsion system, can I replace only the engine for the new electric motor? Yes, you can. Okay, which are the factors that you need to take in consideration? What happened in the first gear when you select the first gear? What happened with your car? Oh, the car start to move start to move your car one ton is moving right now okay what happened in first gear I have high high torque high torque to move that amount of weight and low speed what happened when you select the second gear in second gear you have a little less torque and more speed what happened in third gear you have a little less torque and more speed what happened in the in the last one in five i you have the m minimum torque and maximum speed yes the torque if you remember the mechanical torque is uh, the, the formula that we calculate before is uh, 5252 times the horsepower and divided by the engine rpms the engine rpms normally at the, at the point where the maximum torque is produced. You remember the formula to convert electrical power into mechanical power? Yes. What is the unit for a mechanical power? This is for torque. For power, mechanical power, the unit is horsepower. Horsepower. And uh, what is the, the unit for electrical power? electrical power is watts and the conversion is okay, one horsepower one horsepower is equivalent to 746 watts let me explain the majority of uh, the manufacturers for electric motors in the United States we have a Fischer Panda Fischer Panda is German but uh, have a huge representation in the United States. Fisher Panda, e excellent motors with a 
for different range of uh, boats, depend on the length of the boat and the weight of the boat. Right now we are going to check that. Other is Electric Yacht. Electric Yacht is another company dedicated to fabricate electric motors with all, all, all the regulations required for, uh, for marine applications. Elco is famous. Elco have a, the motors integrated with the, with the inverter. Can be. Bell Marine. Those are the most, there are more, but I put those six companies because right now you can check in internet those companies and you can verify values. For example, I have an example. The Mercury 305. That engine produces uh, 200 horsepower, is around 240 foot pounds. That's the torque. That the torque is like, a situation similar to this. All right, I have an inverter with the capacity of the electric motor. Double phase in this particular uh, case is uh, the phase, the red one and the black phase. Those phases are according with the capacity of the electric motor. And that inverter receives the power from this bank of batteries. This is the bank of batteries. And uh, the bank of batteries is fully charged all the time from uh, the solar panels or uh, from the windmill and during the night if I need to use the boat in the evening when the when the conditions decrease the, the wind and, uh, and the solar condition decrease I start the generator in order in order to fit the battery charger and keep the battery bank fully charged all the time. In other words, I don't need a big, big, big generator with the same capacity of the electric motor. I need a good generator to supply power for the house and a good generator to keep, to keep the battery bank fully charged, a good generator to supply power for this battery charger. This is an excellent, this is an excellent design because this generator is not a big generator with an engine with the same capacity than the previous engine that you remove. This is a small generator with enough capacity to fit power on the battery charger and keep the batteries fully charged. 